like this town. This town is a make you town. Okay, we are now in the DCS booth. Uh, this is Mr. Alastair MacDonald uh, from DCS. Uh, today we are going to talking about the uh, concept of DCS DAC system and the new product, uh, Lina as well. Uh, first of all, can you uh, talk briefly about the, uh, what APEX stands for? Of course. So APEX is our latest revision to what we call our Ring DAC board. Mm -hmm. It's a project that uh, started way back in 2017, really, with, uh, with updates to how our mapping algorithm works to mm -hmm. distribute errors between the, the current sources and our Ring DAC. We found when we, when we launched our 2.0 mappers that we'd really reached the ceiling of what was, what was possible to get from our, our Ring DAC board in simply software updates. So we set upon finding where the weak points in the Ring DAC system were and where we could improve those. So Apex is a complete redesign of our analog output stage, how our clock connects to our, our, our resistor array, um, how we improve the timing, how we improve the spatial elements of sound, and a fundamental change to our power supply. Uh, all in all, it's a complete overhaul of our analog output stage a uh, complete oval of FPGA software revision, I guess? So we, we had a software revision with our 2.0 update. Mm -hmm. The Apex is really a hardware change. Oh. So the easiest way to explain um, a Ring DAC Apex upgrade mm -hmm. is the only similarity between a, a traditional Ring DAC mm -hmm. and a Ring DAC Apex mm -hmm. is the, uh, the array of 48 resistors. Mm -hmm. Everything else is new. Uh -huh. Uh, Ring deck is some uh, different uh, deck system, like not like the other Delta Sigma or Ultra DAC. Can you uh, explain more about the Ring deck? Of course. So, as you've as you've said, the most digital to analog converters work either at one bit in a Sigma Delta layout or a, a traditional R2R mm -hmm. layout. Um, there are great examples of both, but there are drawbacks to, to either approach. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a Sigma Delta DAC, you have high quantization error, you have high switching noise. Mm -hmm. With a traditional R2R, you have correlated errors um, in, in what the actual component values are of the resistors in, in the current sources. Um, so what, uh, what Ring DAC is, and Ring DAC actually, it started off as a system for, for radar technologies. Um, it's, um, it's a concept that's almost 35 years old and was used uh, in the Royal Air Force's Sea Harrier, uh -huh. but uh, it was a system to decorrelate the errors mm -hmm. that are present in, in components mm -hmm. and almost randomly distribute them. So sacrificing a little bit of noise for a complete reduction in distortion. We then 35 years of, of, uh, of refining the algorithm that runs the Ring DAC board, mm -hmm. we've noise shaped all of the noise that's created from the high switching speeds and, and from mapping, a, a decimating a, a signal to five bits. Mm -hmm. We've shaped that way outside of the audio band and then gently filtered that out. So what you're left with is something that's class leading in terms of detail, in terms of harmonic distortion, and in terms of signal to noise ratio. Mm -hmm. So the flagship model uh, consists with consist with a, a DAC and upsampler and uh, external clock and CD transfer and any other else? No, that that's our complete Vivaldi system, uh -huh. and uh, the the clock is one of the things that makes DCS very different. Uh -huh. uh, we we have a saying at DCS that the right sample at the wrong time mm -hmm. is the wrong sample. So a, a lot of companies don't, we feel that they don't quite put the, the emphasis on clocking that we do. Mm -hmm. but when you express an analog sine wave, you, you've got amplitude, we've got granularity, yeah. mm -hmm. but then fundamentally we've got time. So it's just as important. So we use voltage controlled crystal oscillators, which are FPGA controlled, to make sure that they are absolutely precise mm -hmm. to ensure that everything gets decoded, turned into an analog voltage at the appropriate time. Mm -hmm. 
Um, also, a few months ago, uh, DCS launched a new model, Lena. Uh, can you talk about more about the Lena system? Of course. So, the the Lena system is everything that we've done for 35 years in a smaller form factor. Mm -hmm. So it's our first product that uses uh, FlexRidge PCBs. So we've taken our, our ring deck technology, we've taken our streaming technology, our clocking systems and our power supplies, and we've put it into a smaller enclosure mm -hmm. using a, a PCB that we can fold to shape. So our Lena range includes a uh, Lena DAC, mm -hmm. which is similar to our, our Bartok product in that it is a network DAC mm -hmm. pre-amplifier. Mm -hmm. So that can be your entire system, add an active pair of speakers and you're, <laughs> you're ready to listen to music. Oh, well, perhaps uh, on the inside, uh, we can see the multi-layered PCBs? Exactly, yes. Uh -huh. The 16 layer PCB. 16 layers in three boxes. That's it. So in the, the three different boxes, we, we have a, a reference clock. Uh -huh. uh, so you can, you can get over the, the, the problems of having a single power supply that runs a DAC board, a processor, analog output stage, and reduce the, the what we call intrinsic jitter mm -hmm. by adding that reference clock. Yeah. Uh, and the third box in the range is um, something that's very new for DCS, is our flagship headphone amplifier. Yeah. Is the a system uh, just about the highly dedicated to a uh, headphone or we can use the Linux system to the uh, other audio system as well? It's every bit a two-channel product as it is a headphone product. Uh -huh. So the, uh, the, the, the Lina, Lina DAC uses the same digital volume control that you find in our Bartok, in our Rossini or our Vivaldi range. Mm -hmm. And in exactly the same way, we have selectable output voltage. So if you're using um, a, a power amplifier or a preamplifier with extremely high input sensitivity, you can reduce the output voltage to make sure that it's, it's exactly appropriate for that. Okay, uh, thanks for the explanation. And finally, uh, it would be really nice if you uh, say something about the uh, Korean fans, DCS fans. We're so grateful to have such an amazing distributor. Mm -hmm. And uh, the demand is, is capacious. It's, it's a very important market to us. So thank and you. <laughs> 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 the was uh, Alistair McDonald from DCS. Uh, so thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. All right.